Good morning. Welcome to live Student of the Gun at Student of the Gun University. Here we are. All right, what is your job? What is your task? What do you need to do? I know what I need to do, but what do you need to do? Well, what you need to do is you need to check in, tell us who you are, well, obviously, uh, where you're at, and share this with at least one person. Two would be great, but one person. Share it, like it, and tell us where you're at. All right, can you do that? Can you handle it? I think you can. I think you can. All right. So I'm going to drink with my left hand. <laughs> now, we actually got some really cool stuff going on right now with Student of the Gun. We've been, Jared is behind the scenes right now. He is in the studio today. I've got my threaded barrel coffee mug and. What's up, hippies? What do I have in my hot little hands? I have the special, a specialty blend from. Can I show him this? Am I allowed? Um, sure. I am? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but we, we're going to. So This is about to happen. So yeah, It's not available yet, but it will be. It will be really soon. Oh. Here, let me, let me do the magic here. You do the magic? There, they can, they can read it right now. Yeah, so there you go. A specialty blend labeled Threaded Barrel Coffee that says Student of the Gun on it. How cool is that? We can actually, I'm going to make you brighter on one side. You can make me brighter? Yeah. So... We're trying two different kinds right now, and um, I might talk with with Daniel and see if we can send a couple to grad program members to test for us because obviously that would be kind of cool. Yeah, obviously we want to make sure that you guys like the coffee and it's not just us that likes it. <laughs> Although we are good judges, right? yeah, we are. We judge you know coffee I well. I, I got I, I opened it earlier and smelled it, and I got some coffee on this table. <laughs> what am I wearing today? I'm glad you asked. The new logo shirts. That's right. This is the, the new logo. If you've been with us for a long time, you know what the old logo looks like. Well, this is the new student of the gun logo. And these shirts, thanks to our friends at Twin Unicorn, are available right now. So if you'd like to, to own a cool shirt like this or a hooded sweatshirt uh, or a long sleeve shirt because it's winter, you can go to studentofthegun.com or student of the gun store, studentofthegungear.com. Cheers over there. Don't send them to Student of the Gun gear. Okay, I did that. Are we ready? Is it 11 o'clock yet? Have I talked long enough? No. Is everyone signed in? You actually still have two minutes, and uh, I got to check. I was actually... Are you all signed in? I'm doing something did you? else right now, and so... Did you sign in? All right. Uh, how many of you guys caught today's radio show? Oh, uh, not, not as sore today as I was yesterday. You know how it is with the uh, muscle soreness. You don't get it so much the day after as the day after the day after. Your muscles regrowing. You got that lactic acid in there and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whirlwind of a weekend. Just crazy. Driving up and not sleeping and classing and coming back and doing radio and all the stuff that we're doing. And, and of course, uh, for those of you that own gun shops and are in the firearms industry, uh, actually in the shooting sports industry as a business, we're going to see most of you next week. Uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing all of our friends. And uh, it is still kind of the season um, to give uh, or a season of giving. Uh, if you are appreciative of Student of the Gun and what we do, make sure that you tell our friends, the people that make this happen. Because believe it or not, this is what Jared and I do for a job. This is our, I know you're like, somebody pays you to do that? I know, it's kind of crazy. But the Duracoat, the Brownells, Century, Swat Fuel, uh, Frog Lube, uh, you name it. And I just didn't say one or two. <laughs> All right, go alphabetical, Paul. Brownells, Century, Crossbreed, Duracoat, Frog Lube, Swat Fuel. Who am I missing? A mental blocking. You know that I am. Did you, uh, are you just talking about radio or are you talking about TV? Well, everybody, yeah. Kiapa, or not Kiapa, uh, High Point Firearms, Inland Firearms, uh, who did yeah. I, yeah. silencershop.com, yeah. duh. Yeah, they're the, they do the most for the, uh, silencershop.com, the sponsors of the student, of the glass case of emotion. Yeah. Hey, are, are you silencer shop freaks listening? They should be. You should be listening. If you're not listening right now. I know Gary listens. Hey Gary, what's up, hippie? But I, I think what he's Did I say to, everybody? Yeah. I think what okay. he's trying to say is that if you guys would go to studentofthegunradio.com and uh, click on the official partners tab and maybe say thanks 
to them for helping us out? Well, one of the reasons I mentioned it is because show season's coming up. And I know a lot of you guys out there in the Student of the Gun audience work at gun shops, you work at pawn shops, you work at holster manufacturers, you work whatever. You're in the industry and you're going to be at SHOT Show. So if you're walking around and you happen to find yourself by the Frog Lube booth or the Crossbreed booth or you name it, you uh, pop in there and say, hey, thanks for sponsoring Student of the Gun. I really appreciate it. And they will appreciate hearing from you. Uh, we talked to... Uh, well, actually, over Christmas holiday, we talked to pretty much all of our uh, our sponsors, and uh, they said that you guys are the best, and they really do appreciate hearing from you. They appreciate your your messages, your Facebook messages, and your emails, and so forth. And uh, at shows, at trade shows, when you walk up and you say, "Hey, you know, just wanted to say thank you," uh, because you are extreme like that. So. <laughs> oh, I have another question. If you walk by the Frog Lube booth, you just want to yell extreme at them and they'll, they'll get it. Yeah, I have a question for you guys. What are you watching this on? Type it in the comments below or you t do one for iPhone, two for Android, and three for computer. <laughs> I want to know. We want to know. Are, are, am I ready yet? Is it 11 o'clock? Yeah, you can go ahead. Hi, okay. Hi, Lauren. Hello and welcome to a special live edition of Student of the Gun. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about this new book, uh, Dad Rules. And I know a lot of you are kind of freaking out. You're like, did you not just write a book and release it and promote it? And now you got another one? The answer is yes. Uh, but Dad Rules is kind of unique. Uh, the Dad Rules book is, is I, it's titled Wit and Wisdom from a Dad to Whom It May Concern. And I've been a dad for, how old are you, Jared? 26? years. Not 20. Oh, crap. Tomorrow's my birthday. Yeah, tomorrow's yours birthday. But uh, tomorrow he'll be 27 years old. Sweet Buddha. That's, I don't, I don't think I, I'm approving of that. I'm, you're way too close to 30 for, to make me comfortable. I'm way too close to 30 to make me comfortable. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, I've been a dad for three decades now. And... Throughout uh, our our lifetime together, my my wife Nancy, Miss Nancy, all you grad program members know her. Uh, also, I I didn't want to wait until now to make this announcement, but you're going to be a grandpa. Shut up, sit I'm, down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I would be very happy if that was true. So shut up. Uh, no, but as we as we've grown as a family, we've watched our children grow, and and our children have been a great source of of angst and joy <laughs> and we have and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there that have kids uh, you have those stories you, you remember when we were and you sit around the table drinking coffee with your wife or whatever and you, or your husband and uh, remember when we were blank and our child did this and we just couldn't believe it it was totally unscripted and we looked at each other and thought what is going on through the mind of a child well we've been doing that for three decades and so what I did is uh, I started compiling, just kind of in my mind, some of these stories, these little stories. Uh, for instance, Jared, he was, I don't know exactly how old Jared was. He was in the, the three to four range. And we were driving down the street, and he was sitting in the back seat in his little car seat all buckled up. And he's just looking out the window. And we come up to a stoplight, and, and uh, he looks from the window, and he looks up at his mother and I, and he says, I like shiny things. Still to this day, I like shiny things. And that was it. It was just the, in the heart of a child. That was what was in his mind right then. And he said, I like shiny things. I'm like, aw. And then Zachary, Nancy went to the grocery store and she got a whole bunch of groceries and we're loading them from the car back into the house. And you know, you, you know how, you got how you do it. You put them on your kitchen table and then you put them away and what have you. And, she uh, was in the grocery store and saw a display of plums and thought, oh, man, th those are nice, fresh plums. I I'd like to have one. So she, you know, grabbed one, two, three of them, put them in the little bag you get from the produce thing and brought them home. And so we're doing the whole family unload the, the groceries thing. And we turn around and Zach's not there. And this is, and Zach was about the same age. He was like in the, the three to four range, right? And we walk outside and as we walk out, we see Zach. He has the bag of plums in his hand, and he's going, whoop, 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 
whip him around like David with a sling, right? And whew, lets him go. Now, we, we were on a, in a house that was on the side of a hill. And there was a big, long hill behind us with, like, you know, undergrowth and trees and stuff. And, whew, 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 and he let him. And, and, he, and they just went sailing through the air. And it was the most beautiful thing. And they went down into the woods. And they were gone. And Nancy said, why did you do that? And Zachary, being the three to four age that he was, he looked up and he said, if you wouldn't have bought those, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, these are my children. <laughs> now that story, the if you wouldn't have bought those, that wouldn't have happened. Uh, that's not in here because what I needed to do was put basically short stories, uh, but there's a lot more. Uh, there, and how did dad rules come about? Dad Rules came about because actually one day I was in a mood. And uh, <clears throat> you guys know that I have control of the Twitter account. So uh, I just, I, I typed something in there. Um, I think it was about Paxton was complaining that, that I had eaten some of her food out of the refrigerator. You know, I watched TV one night and I got the munchies and I went in there and I ate something. And she's like, ah, that's my food. And I'm like, okay, stop. I appreciate all that and what have you, but if it's in the refrigerator that dad purchased, it's fair game. And if you feel like purchasing a refrigerator for yourself, you can take your butt down to Best Buy and I bet you they have some on sale. So uh, <clears throat> that was, the, I think, I'm pretty sure, Jared, that that was the first dad rule. It was like, yeah, and, I, right. and it was like dad rule number 67. If it's in the refrigerator that I purchased, it's fair game. Feel free to buy your own refrigerator. And I just, you know, I, I'm just denting or whatever. I, I posted it up there just for fun. And I hashtagged it, Dad Rules. And, uh, well, before I knew it, people were, like, liking it and retweeting it and sharing it and, and so forth. And I was like, hmm, maybe I struck a nerve. So, uh, you know, I came up with another one. You know, the thermostat, don't touch it. That is all. Dad Rule number one or whatever. And, uh... I was talking to my friend E.J. Owens, he said, and, and he was laughing with me, and he says, you better write these things down. I said, yeah, you're right. So I started compiling them. And so what we have in here, we have a combination of dad rules, and then we also have, in addition to dad rules, we have mom tales and dad tales, and we have proud dad moments, and they're all in here in this book. Uh, and this is actually the first book that we've done where we commissioned a, an artist or a designer to do uh, designs and graphics for us. So there, uh, and the, the cover was, this is our first book that we had a custom cover done. So we're kind of excited about it. So the, the long story short is this. Uh, you can go to Amazon right now and buy a paperback. Uh, or you can go to Kindle and you can buy the Kindle version. If you buy the Amazon paperback, you get the Kindle version for free. If you're an Amazon Prime member, because we love you. Uh, if you're an Amazon, or is it Amazon Select? Or Amazon, I don't know what they call it. I'm about to drop a link. Amazon Extreme, or what? <laughs> I don't think it's Amazon Extreme, but you, you guys who have Amazon accounts, you know what it is. Uh, and uh, signed copies will be available to grad program members. If you're a grad program member, you should have already checked your mail because there'll be a direct link in there for you to pre-order a signed copy. This one actually is a proof. Um, this, is, we, this is one of two proof copies. Oh, also, don't forget, is this the one? No, this isn't the one. The, other, the, the one, V1, that's going to have uh, everyone's signature on it. Last Friday, uh, during the Morning Mindset, we announced that uh, we were going to be giving away an original proof copy of this book and it's going to be signed by everybody in the Student of the Gun family. And it's going to go to uh, whoever likes and shares the morning mindsets for the month of January. And then at the end of January, Jared will go in there and he'll look and he'll see who has been the most consistent with sharing and liking. Because he can do that because he's got that technology. And we're going to award that limited edition, only edition version to them. So there's that. What else do you want me to say, Hippie? Uh, grad program members. The email that you received for the live stream actually has the link to the, let me see, let me make sure. Yeah, it's got the link to the signed copy at the bottom underneath his signature. He put the link in there for you. And let's see here. 
I'm going to look at the email right now and see what he did. We do so many things. Now, the if you're not a grad program member, which I'm assuming that most of you here are not, and shame on you, then at the bottom of your email, this is how you're going to you're gonna help us out, if you don't mind. There's this thing that says, share via, and then it's got a link to all the different social medias and an email address. Share this that email, the, the link that's in that, that email, with one person that you think would enjoy this book. Because... As Dad said in the emails, his goal is to reach number one, and we are not going to be able to do that without you. I think it would be kind of cool to have a, and this is the in the humor slash relationships category of Amazon. Look at him, relationships and humor. Humor slash relationships. Now you are humorous. You are humorous. humorous. Isn't that a bone in your body? The humorous bone. Is Matt Reynolds watching? No, Matt Reynolds is working, but. Um, this could be. He called, can tell you where the humor is. Yeah, this could be called market research. Market research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there other questions? Yeah, let's go ahead and I I commented and I said hold questions until the end. This is the end, so now is the time to ask your questions. And we'll give them what a minute, sixty seconds. Is that me? Am I live? Yeah. Well, kind of. You're ten seconds delayed. I'm watching. <laughs> hey, Jared, can you do me a favor? Come around here on this side of the camera. That's pretty cool. I'm That's supposed to be cool. answering or asking questions. Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. What do you... Oh. I, don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm here. Uh, this is a Reynolds Strong hat. I actually picked it up at the Fight Strong class. When I was in uh, Camden, Tennessee at Tactical Response, that class, if you guys have not listened to the radio show yet, please go listen to today's episode at least because we did kind of like an overview, uh, an after action report of the class and I highly recommend that you take that class. Now, Dad's back, so. Switch. All right. Oh, you're pimping the talking lead today. Marty will be happy. Uh, did that, I don't know if that went up, Jared, because I looked... Well, yeah, because somebody said they listened to it. I think they just listened to it on Facebook. Mm. All right, first question, go. Uh, I got to refresh my page. Was Jared the devil? I was in front of the camera. I couldn't do Was this. Jared the devil when he was a baby? What training schedule going to be for next year? Grad program members only, and we will email you because we're full right now. That was easy. Dads are never wrong. Let's see. Is the... That's, that's not related to this. But I'll ask it anyway so you can answer it. Is the Breda M9 your go-to-war pistol? Question mark. If someone's issuing it to me. Yeah, it's like the, the, the gun that's in my hand is, is that. If I'm with a unit and they say these are the issued guns, uh, no, what? it wouldn't be my first choice. My first choice would be a striker-fired uh, something striker-fired like a TP9 or a G-Lock or something like that. Uh, what's the best way for dad to admit he's wrong? Hmm. What's the best way for dad to admit he's wrong? Lauren gets it because she said that dad's always right. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I might not always be right, but I do have about four to five decades of experience, uh, of benefit of the doubt underneath my belt. So uh, you need to... But uh, it, seriously, if you're wrong, just say, hey, I was wrong. This is why, this is why I'm right now, and move on. If you, if you make a mistake, correct the mistake and move on. And I uh, do that. Let's see. Don't. Which kid gave you the most gray hair? My daughter, without a doubt. I didn't have gray hair until I had a teenage daughter. I know it's, it may be just a coincidence. I... I shared the link with Obama. Yeah, that's nice of you. Really? <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Let me scroll back down. What's up, Barry? You packed yet? You only got a week. <laughs> Better get packed. Get out of my house. You guys, oh yeah, this is happening today. Dennis O'Connor says, you guys get the TP9 Elite yet. Holy crap. Yeah, you almost <laughs> forgot, didn't you? I actually did. <laughs> we were so busy doing this. 
I gotta, as soon as we're done, I gotta get in the truck and go get those. Thanks, Dennis. How did you let me forget that? Man, you know that you're busy doing work stuff when you forget that you have to go pick up a gun. Anything else you want to Is finish? it still the morning? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Is it still morning? Can you please add the show to the Tune In app? Uh, I'll, I'll look at that. I don't know what that is. Tune In. It, it must be like another streaming service. A new thing. I don't have Roku. I don't have Apple TV. I don't have Chromecast. I. What's the fourth one we're on? We're on four. Roku, Apple TV, Chromecast... Amazon Fire. Uh, Amazon Fire. I don't so have any of those. My question to you guys is, who has got the book already? Who has Dad Rules? Anyone? We got 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Do you like stippling on Glocks? Yes. Do I like that it's there, or do I like doing it? Um, I don't do it, but I appreciate a good grip texture. Do you guys want to be a, my guest at a NASCAR race this year? Maybe. Yeah, sure, but I don't know what our schedule looks like. I have a question. What? Are there going to be boobs there? Oh, shh. Then yes. <laughs> Classy. Uh, you stay classy, Jared Markle. Didn't ship yet. Is that it? I'm having a hard time keeping up with this stuff here because the one on the screen is really low. And low, low, yeah. low. So is it have, like Flow Rider? Is it that low? Yeah. It might be lower. Might be lower than If Flo you have anything else to say, go ahead and close it out. See, the, all right, my question is. Is there anything lower than Flow Rider? That's one for the ages right there. All right, freaks and freakettes, thanks for joining us. I truly appreciate it. You can go back to pretending that you're working now. And uh, if you haven't, for some crazy, insane reason, if you haven't gone to studentofthegun.com, click on the orange button that says seven training tips that could save your life. I, I don't know why that would be, but you're allowed, and I want you to do that. So go to studentofthegun.com, click the big orange button, Get the training tips. They're free. They don't cost you anything. Just your time. And once you do that, you will be informed of all the goodness that is Student of the Gun. The TV, the radio, the books, the articles, the live stuff, the everything. So get started. And uh, it, don't be greedy. Share this with somebody. All right, freaks. Uh, until next time, remember, you're a beginner once. You should indeed be a student for life. Click live notifications button that pops up.